Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So here go Jeff Teague saying, a lot of players thought LeBron joining the Heat, joining Miami in 2010, it was a weak move. Let's be real, we all know it was weak. The same way Kevin Durant went to the Warriors, it's the same impact. It was a weak move. You have LeBron James, top five player in the league, joining Dwayne Wade, a top five, top 10 player in the league. That was a weak move. And then you add in Chris Bosh. Come on, man. So Jeff Teague said Joe Johnson thought that was a weak move. Joe Johnson was like, come on, man. Braun is weak as F for that. And I would agree. But you know, everybody turned the other cheek, make exceptions, make excuses. LeBron did the same thing Kevin Durant did, except LeBron did it first. So Kevin Durant basically followed the blueprint. Kevin Durant did what LeBron did. LeBron did what the Boston Celtics did. But in that case, they didn't say, hey, let's come together and form a team. No. Kevin Garnett was later on in his career, and Kevin McHale did Danny Ainge and did Kevin Garnett a favor. The man was loyal to a fault. So Kevin McHale did him a favor. And they also brought in Ray Allen. But that wasn't them coming together, conjuring and saying, hey, man, let's all come together in our primes, you know. Let's form the super team so we can win championships. That wasn't the case. But in LeBron's case, because he couldn't beat Boston, he said, you know what? Let me get with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. It was supposed to be LeBron, Dwayne, and Melo. But you know Melo had his New York situation, whatever, the decision he made. And everybody knew that was a weak move. I don't care what they want to say. They tried to sweep it under the rug and act like it was nothing. It was a weak move then, and it is a weak move now. So this is what Jeff Teague had to say. Let's keep it real. I remember when Braun came to Miami. Everybody was like, this shit is weak. I ain't gonna lie. I don't give a F. I was in my third year, said Jeff Teague. I was like, I don't care. I just want to hoop. I'm trying to get paid. But I remember Joe Johnson, and he was like, why would they do this shit? He's like, this shit is weak. Man, Bron, he's weak for that. So that's what Jeff Teague had to say. And Joe Johnson called LeBron James weak for joining Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and making a super team and destroying the entire balance in the East. They destroyed the entire balance in the East and the NBA for that matter. But nobody talks about that. All they say is LeBron, you know, he won two championships in Miami. And nobody cares, especially LeBron fans. They don't care. They just know he won two in Miami. But it was a weak move, man. He did a weak move. Kevin Durant did a weak move. They both did some weak shit. I'm sorry. So this era is filled with weak super teams, joining teams. Yet they'll turn around and say, all these players are greater than the players before them. I call cap. And to no surprise... The previous season, Kobe Bryant won his fifth championship, his fifth title. So, of course, dude's looking around like, yo, man, we got to stop Kobe. This guy's out here winning chips. No Shaq, he's winning chips. And we got to do something. So, Dwayne Wade recruited LeBron James to Miami. Plus, Dwayne Wade was like, look what Kobe Bryant is doing. Yo, this dude is a beast, man. So, LeBron knew the only way he would get a chip was to join Miami. And D. Wade and Chris Bosh. Because Kobe's out here winning chips. Boston is in the East with Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen. And it's looking real bleak. So the only decision was to be made is, you know what? We got to team up, man. And they did that weak ass move, which to this day, to me personally, it was weak. They did that weak move, came together, joined us, you know, made a super team, created Voltron. And even so, the man went two and two. He almost went one in three. If it wasn't for Ray Allen hitting that three, Greg Popovich made in the dumbest call, subbing out Tim Duncan. LeBron could have been one in three in Miami. And this is who they're saying is the GOAT? Come on, man. Are we really going to sit here and lie to ourselves? This is the GOAT. A guy who possibly could have went one in three with a super team. That's crazy. They lost to the Spurs, right? And he realized, okay. We're not going to win anymore in Miami, at least in his mind. Lacking self-confidence, 
He left Miami, ran back to Cleveland because now they had Kyrie Irving. They had a few draft picks. They had Andrew Wiggins, Waiters. So they had, you know, a few pieces. They could make some moves, so he ran back. But we got to call it for what it is, man. It was a weak move. Everybody thought it was a weak move. Joe Johnson even said it out of his own mouth. It was a weak move. This dude disrupted the entire balance in the East. Once LeBron went to Miami, you knew what it was. They're going to be in the finals in the East. They're going to be in the Eastern Conference Finals every year. You knew it already. You already knew that's the situation. Even if Miami and Indiana had a little battle, it didn't matter. You knew the outcome. Miami is a better team. They would be in the Eastern Conference Finals every single year. And this man get all the credit for that. You know, he went to the Eastern Conference Finals eight, ten times, whatever. And this man gets all the credit for that. But he had the best team. Funny enough, Udonis Haslam said Chris Bosh was their most important player. Obviously not the best player, but the most important. Haslam also said he saw Dwayne Wade and LeBron go head-to-head one-on-one, and D-Wade beat LeBron, the same way Michael Beasley beat LeBron one-on-one. I mean, that's a given. If you have the best team, you have two of the best talent in the NBA on the team, you're a top-five player. Dwayne Wade was a top-five player, top-10, either or. Chris Bosh is a top 15, top 20 player. Come on, what are we talking about? You clearly had the best team. So, of course, you're going to be in the finals every season. You're going to be in the Eastern Conference Finals. The odds are always in your favor. That's just common sense. But this man get all the credit for that. He gets credit for having the best team. I don't get it. And even so, he went 2-2 and with that team. Should have went 3-1 and or 4-0. At least three and one with that team, the man went two and two. Could have possibly went one and three. So he owes Ray Allen a lot. He also owes Kyrie a lot for hitting that big shot. Kyrie basically saved his legacy. Let's be honest. Kyrie Irving saved this man's legacy. Nobody want to talk about it. After the championship, he gets all the praise. He gets all the credit. You know the usual nonsense. But we all know the real man. LeBron made a weak move. Kevin Durant made a weak move. They both made a weak move in this era. Let's call it for what it is. Two of the greatest players in this era made weak moves. So they'll scrutinize a dude like Carmelo. He has no championships. He's not a winner. Of course, when your pairs go join super teams or create super teams and disrupt the entire balance in the NBA or the conference, yeah, you're not going to have rings because they have more on their team. This is common sense. We got to be real about it. So like I said, man, they saw Kobe Bryant win his fifth title. Dudes got shook. Plus LeBron was getting manhandled by the Celtics. So dude is like, you know what? I'm going to go to Miami. Wade, I'm going to take you up on that offer, man. I'm coming. Because I don't want to be 30. I have no rings. I don't want, you know, I'm supposed to be the chosen one. I need to start winning championships. So he made a weak move. He couldn't do it on his own. And nobody ever is going to talk about that. All they're going to say is, oh, LeBron, he's the GOAT. He has four chips, blah, blah, blah. But how did he get those rings? That's the question. It matters to me. I don't know about everybody else. The way you win your chips matters to me. How did you win? Did you team up on super teams? How did you get those rings? It's still championships. Don't get me wrong, but how did you get it? Hence why Draymond Green... He gets way more respect than Kevin Durant in Golden State because Kevin Durant is the mercenary. He joined that team. Let's be honest. They didn't need him to win. They have proven that two times. They didn't need Kevin Durant. But he felt like, I can't do it with Russell Westbrook. I can't do it as the main guy. So he ran to Golden State. LeBron felt like, I can't get past Boston. You even have Dwight Howard out here beating me, kicking me out of the playoffs. Let me go join D-Wade. We got to talk about it. It's the truth. At the end of the day, he won four championships. He won two in Miami. A lot of people, they'll say he made the right decision, whatever the case may be. But it still was a weak move. And at the time when he made the decision and he joined Miami, a lot of people felt like, a lot of players, matter of fact, felt like, that's a weak-ass move, man. Which it was. It's a weak move. 
You are supposed to be one of the best players in the league next to Kobe, Dwayne Wade, Melo, etc. And you go make a super team because you can't win? It's a weak move. End of story. It's a weak move. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.